kids, and welcome back to Just So Mr. Joel. It's been a while since I posted a story, and that's because I've been very busy with the summer camp dance and drama program at Head Start International School here in Phuket. And now I'm back, and I have something very special for you today, a Juha story. Now, Juha is a comically wise, legendary character from the Middle East, and this story is called To Freeze or Not to Freeze. And it was performed by my students at the summer camp. I hope you enjoy it. Somewhere, at some time, on a cold winter day, Juha and his friends take refuge in a coffee shop to pass the time. As will happen on such a day, the conversation in the coffee shop turns to the weather. This cold weather is hard on my bones. See, I can't hold the dice properly. <coughs> Every winter I get the flu. I'm sure this cold snap's gonna put me in bed. I think we all suffer terribly when it's this cold. It's life, isn't it? Too hot or too cold. As we get older, it's harder because we are all weaker. Nonsense! I'm just as strong today as I was as a young man. Possible, Jua. Look at you. You're not nearly as active when you were younger. No doubt you have grown weaker. Yes, of course you have. We're weaker, all of us. No, no, I have it, and I can prove it. No, you can't prove it! You can't prove it! Tell us now! I have a marble table in my kitchen. I used to try to lift it when I was younger. I couldn't then. And? And I still can't now. So you see, I have exactly the same strength I did before as now. That's the only And as for the cold, it doesn't bother me at all. I could stand all day and all night long in the cold and not feel it at all. Impossible. No, impossible. I don't know that. What are you talking about? in a few minutes. Let's make a bet. Yes, let's bet on it. All right, what are we betting on? You stand all night tonight. In the square. All right, but what are the stakes? You win, we'll make you a delicious meal. But if you lose, you'll make us such a meal for us. Yes, good idea. Yeah, good boy, idea. that's going to be a good idea. Yeah, I agree. And I will win. I'll show you. So why won't you stop? Now, of course, I'll just finish this cup of coffee and go stand all night long in the square. And so all the friends go to the square to choose a place for Juha to stand or sit for the night, right in the middle of a square, far from all houses and buildings. They all clap him on the back, shake his hand, and exchange embraces. Juha stands or sits or walks in circles in a small space or does a little dance or sings to pass the time. Like a vandal, light up your place and food with a candle. Play, go watch your dinner that cooks. I'm making do it like I wanna have a second look. Slowly, when I play adult comedy, you all saw it. You can make a fool of me. Winner or loser, this bet is underway. You better hit bulls on the kid, don't play. If you want the problem, you'll all solve it. Check out the kind of clues you involved in. Ice, ice, baby.
The night passes till finally the cock crows at sunrise. Papa goes to the coffee shop, eager to announce to his friends that he has won the bet. It is so delicious. Yeah. I wish for winning. Yeah. 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 As you see, my friends, I stood there all night long in the cold. So, what is the feast we won? No, you didn't win. We won. What do you mean? You saw the wife and the husband eating a candlelight. That candle gave you a key to be able to withstand the cold. So, you lose. You owe us a feast. I saw that candle too, but surely that doesn't count as once. That candle was over a hundred feet away from me. I felt no more emanating from it. I see you all agree. So I'll agree to. I'll prepare a feast for you guys tomorrow at in the evening at my house. So the following evening, ah, welcome! The friends come over to Juha's house to eat the food he has prepared. When they enter, they see no food on the table. Juha, there's no food. Where's food? As you see, my friends, I've set the table and dinner's cooking. It should be ready soon. While we wait, sit down, drink some tea, let's have a chat. Oh, okay. Time passes and an hour later, their stomachs start rumbling and they begin to complain. I am very hungry. Yes, isn't the food ready yet? It must be ready by now. Who's cooking the food? Your wife? No, I am. How can you well, be? You've been with us the whole time. How can you be doing the food? As this meal is a wonderful lamb stew that practically cooks itself. Come see. There. It should be ready soon. What were you And that's it. I guess Juha's guests went home hungry that day, but I'll bet they learned a good lesson from his funny trick on them. Well, join us again on Just So Mr. Joel. Bye.